As the fight continues to prevent a new 5G cell phone tower from becoming operational as it stands feet away from this Wyandotte school, a professor from Wayne State University is speaking out. Whoever planned to uh, put this uh, cellular tower uh, so close to uh, the students and the teachers is wrong. Professor John Liu has a background in electrical and computer engineering. Yeah, I invented the modem for um, DirecTV. Back then we called it Spaceway. That was uh, the project we started at Hughes Electronics in 1998. The professor makes it clear this type of technology does not belong that close to the human body. This is pure evil. Yeah, it just uh, read my lips. This is pure evil. Each sector is transmitting um, 40 watts for continuously. They're facing high risk of brain tumor. But despite what this academic's research provides, the school district has allowed the tower on the grounds of George Washington Elementary School. The tower is also near a playground. The school district entered into an agreement with T-Mobile and will get paid monthly. But parents say they want it removed before it becomes operational. We as a school. We as a school, no, not we as a school, we as parents. A recent informational meeting was cut short by the district after parents expressed frustration. I'm disappointed in our parents. This was designed to be informational. Now a GoFundMe has been started to raise funds for a litigation process to remove the tower. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to meet uh, reach an amicable resolution outside of uh, a judge. The American Cancer Society says there's no strong evidence that proves radio frequency waves are harmful. However, the organization says this does not mean exposure to RF waves from cell phone towers has been proven to be absolutely safe. Fox 2 reached out to the superintendent for comment, but the wait for a response continues. A city council and school board meeting will both take place next week. There's a, quite a few parents that plan to attend. The professor says he will support the parents' fight. We have to fight to protect our kids and uh, the teachers. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.